Mayhem family, here we go. We've got another workout today on demand class. We've got three versions like we did last time. We're gonna go Mayhem 30 body weight, Mayhem 30 minimal, it's with a dumbbell, and then we'll go the Mayhem 60 version. Uh, today we have Kelsey, Rich, and Stevie performing each of these. Our body weight version is gonna be 40, 30, 20, 20 of jumping air squats, and then we're gonna go descending order, 21, 15, 9, 9 of hand release push-ups. Each workout today is a variation of Elizabeth elevated from the games. Um, and the final M60 is gonna be actually Elizabeth. For Mayhem 30 minimal, we're going 21, 15, 9, 9 of dumbbell squat cleans. We'll go 250s for the men, 235s for the ladies on that, and then hand release push-ups, that same rep scheme. And then like I said, the Mayhem 60 version is just Elizabeth, the classic CrossFit workout benchmark. 21, 15, 9, we got squat cleans, 135, 95, and ring dips. Uh, if you follow some of our competitor tracks, you guys will actually hit Elizabeth Elevated there, which was at the CrossFit Games. Cool day here. We get to run through some similar things they did at the Games. So we'll go over here, see some movement standards, work through a warm up, and then get into our workout. Uh, we're gonna stay here. If you need a generic warm up beforehand, we always hit cross service symmetry, hip halo, and we warm up the barbell as well. So hit that Bergener uh, clean warm up to make sure you get that ready to go. The warm up here is a little bit shorter, but always take more time as needed. To get started, we're gonna go through some movement standards. Kelsey's gonna show us jumping, oh, put that up, jumping air squats to start. Jumping air squats, her feet gonna be about shoulder width to hip width apart. So you're gonna start flat footed, come all the way up, get that full hip extension, good Kelsey. Then we're gonna go hand release push ups. Kelsey's gonna have that nice straight plank position, come to the ground, she lifts her hands off the ground and all the way back up. See that back angle stays the same. Good job Kelsey, we like these hand release push ups so that we're not warming those. Rich is gonna show us just a couple dumbbell squat cleans. Like so, he likes touching in between the feet, which is fine. You can also go outside the feet. It's whatever feels better for you there. So thank you, Rich, and outside too. Lastly, we've got Stevie. Mayhem Master, he's gonna hit. You can just hit one, Stevie. Squat clean from the ground. Yeah. Full stand up, woo! <laughs> just 45 in the workout, that's it. I the head is good. Oh, dabbing. I don't get many opportunities to dab. We'll go, uh, show him one ring dip there. Have a quick transition as he's gonna be blowing and going through this. Almost strict there, you can kip if needed. I think we start kipping there in the workout pretty soon. Today's warm up, we got a simple warm up uh, to get everything blood flowing. We're gonna go three rounds. We'll start with about 30 seconds of high knees. Start our clock so we got an idea. If you have a machine and you want to do a bike erg or a row for 30 seconds, just easy, moderate pace, that works as well. Since we're all out here, we've got some, not as much space, we'll just hit high knees in place. Get that blood flowing. With this, if it was a running workout, it'd be a great warm up too. Think about that foot strike, midfoot, same place each time. Some arm pump to get that moving. Really just trying to get the heart rate up with this. Once we finish there, let's go ahead and transition. We're gonna do five inch worms with a push up. So those hands right near your toes, walk it out, chest touch the ground, push up and right back. Inch worms, another great warm up tool we use very often. Uh, just a good global body, posterior train stretch, and then some good push and shoulder dynamic work. Can you do a hundred on broken? That is a... Good question. It's kind of like a hundred muscle cleans. Just beat your face against the wall. A hundred inchworms unbroken was the question. Someone out there is probably gonna do it. Next, we are going five single arm dumbbell squat clean. So you can use a lighter weight if you want for warm up or the weight you got in the workout. Kelsey's gonna hit five, one and a quarter. Air squats, for that one and a quarter air squat, it's just like it sounds, you'll go all the way down. Then you'll go a quarter of the way up and then finish your full air squat. She's got jumping air squats, this is a good way to start the warm up. A little bit of speed, and down and up. Three each side, Rich is gonna hit, hit five to six total. 
you need to go from the hang to start to, that's fine. See if you got something light to warm it with. All right, let's roll back into our high knees. Go! Rich loves high knees. Favorite movement of the day. Yep, he did suggest it. Nine, nine, nine. Thank you for telling me. I just said two sets of nine. It finishes with three sets of nine. Let's transition into one with push up. So 21, 15, nine, nine, nine. It's the 21, 15, nine is that classic CrossFit uh, rep scheme we use all the time, the descending. This one added two sets of nine at the end. Uh, so that would be 63 reps total on that rep scheme. Typically 45 with the 21, 15, nine today, we're going 63. Stevie just gets the 21.15.9. We were nice to him. If you've never done the workout, Elizabeth is a great benchmark. It just really hurts a lot. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the squat cleans and ring dips. At the games, they had the parallel traverse bar, which is a cool add-in, and dips on that. Doing an extra. Let's go back into our five to six single arm dumbbell squat clean. Kelsey's gonna work back through these one and a quarter air squats. Try to with that dumbbell squat clean like Rich is doing. Go ahead and set up for each rep. Get that chest up. Load the hips so that way you're dropping right underneath. Gonna mimic that barbell or if you're gonna do dumbbells, well, make the warm up look like the workout. It's good practice overall. Let's go one more round. High knees, go. Nice thing about this is you don't need much. You can just get rolling five to six minutes. Be pretty warm, especially for that body weight or dumbbell workout there. If you're short on time, get it in. Quick fitness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Work out again. Is the last time you did Elizabeth the 2012 CrossFit Games? Yeah, but we power it. That was with like uh, Isabel and all that? Isabel, to the interim with push up. They did 2012, I think, CrossFit Games. Isabel, what'd you say? Isabel, Fran, Elizabeth? with power cleans. That's how they finished the 2012 CrossFit Games. You wanna go YouTube that. It's the only time Elizabeth's been at the CrossFit Games, I believe, other than this past year. That's right. Unless you wanna play along and try to beat some CrossFit Games athletes. Actually, play along with us. Play along with us instead. Five to six inch worms. Right after that, we'll go our last set of So for this last set, so part of our workout prep, Kelsey's gonna hit five to six jumping air squats. Rich will hit his full dumbbell squat cleans. He's gonna touch and go those. Stevie, let's hit two to three reps. You wanna go touch and go, that's fine. If you need to hit singles too, that's cool. Let's go one more single there. My boy, Stevie's already got the hook grip going on taking his time in the setup and then getting powerful underneath the bar, standing up strong. Stevie, let's go ahead and show them two to three ring dips. <clears throat> On these ring dips, Stevie's gonna use a kip. So for Stevie's kip, you got two styles of the kip where you kick down and shoot up, or you can kick up as you press. It's your preference. Either way on those, I want these rings to be kept close to him like he is. Think about keeping your lats engaged. That's good there. That'll help your triceps last longer. Keep it close here, think about close, pressing down on it, and that'll really help you stay elevated longer on those ring dips and not have to come down as often. Your kip is key, and then keeping those rings close and as much of your upper body engaged as possible. So, same thing about this workout. If you're doing the body weight version, you can probably stay moving pretty quick throughout the entire time. The 40, 30, that might slow down Kelsey a little bit just because that's a big chunk, but you're shaking out those legs, getting right back to it. Hand release push-ups for her and for Rich's version, they kind of are what they are. When your chest gets fatigued out, it's hard to grit them out. Shake out the arms, get right back to it as much as you can, even if it's quick, small sets. Uh, dumbbell squat clean, stay in a good position. Those are gonna hurt. Don't get sloppy rounding your back, letting that low back get fried out. That's something that can happen with those. So stay in a good position. Rich, you'll hook grip the whole way, right? You hook grip? 50s? 
Try some reps in your warm up hook grip, some reps not hook gripped, whatever can help you lock in and go on those. Set 21, 15, 9, 9. So let's think sets of sevens. Obviously you can do unbroken, do that. Let's pick a sustainable set count from the get go and then roll through those nine, 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 stay tough there. Stevie, for most people that are not uh, just super elite on Elizabeth, we're gonna do singles the whole way out of the gate. If you feel great in the 15 or the nines, you can start to do some touch and go, but unless you can touch and go at least four to five most of the way, we recommend quick singles. Ring dips, same idea. Be smart from the beginning. Big kip, like we're saying, keep that chest up on the ring dip and then eyes forward uh, as well. And then uh, squat cleans, try to make each rep look the same. That barbell is gonna get heavy and heavier as the workout goes on. Cool, everyone good? Awesome. We're excited, we're very excited. Not. Yeah, starting off with a good workout, woo! <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert, this isn't their first workout. Here we go. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, go. Starting off with 40 reps for Kelsey, then 21 for Rich and Stevie. There you go, Stevie. Stevie's holding just a smooth pace out the gate. That's where you wanna be with this workout, Elizabeth. What you're doing, you wanna be steady. That way you're not blowing up in the 15s. Doing something through the 21, the 15 that you can hold on to the whole time. Just keep getting back the barbell. You'll notice Rich, he's just getting those dumbbells to lightly touch for each rep at the bottom. His chest up there swing him back under. He's loading those hips, really being uh, careful to do that. Very intentional. That way that pull is made easier. Of course, ain't in a good position. And Kelsey's just cranking through. Kelsey still looks good. Trying to stay in her heels, which is unbroken. We're off. That boy, Stevie. Keep grinding, keep grinding. Go lock in the upper back each rep. Keep getting set up here, lower those hips, good. There it is, every time. Nice. Just hand really push up. Just a quick reset to get the clearance from the hand to the ground. Even if it's just a split second, that's fine. That's all we're doing that way. We can't just be bouncing off the ground like we would normal push-ups. And hopefully making us avoid the worm as much as we can. That boy, Stevie. There you go, buddy. Stevie's making good hip contact with each rep. Which will hopefully pay off in later rounds or I'll make it out too bad. Where you at? Last one. Last one. There it is. That a boy. Boy, Rich. Good job, Kelsey. Stand up all the way. Each rep. Good. Stevie, you'll notice each time, trying to get this top of the shoulders here, front of those down to the top of the ring, and then lock out full each rep. He's gonna break quick. That boy Stevie, that's really good. Being strategic in that, that way he doesn't fry out later, he can keep going. See that big kip, Stevie, big kip. Be intentional with that. Help yourself out, there you go. Shooting up there, that straight line of action, straight up out of that dip is what we wanna see. Stevie looks good with that. This 2115 999 is a little different because usually in those 15s you know you're almost done. So it's not quite as close with this one. You got three sets of nine, but at least you know after the set of 15, you only got nines left total for each round. Atta boy, Stevie, there you go. 15 here, think about up and down, up and down. 
just five, five, five. That's what we think about 15s. Get that five, take a little break, or if you like the six, five, four, get the six, catch yourself, get the five, and then you just got four. That a boy, Stevie. Make it look just like the 21s. Which is on to his nines. As soon as he's ready, he picks him up and go. And notice Rich's foot placement stays basically the same on all these. You don't really need to go from under your hips to under your shoulders like you did with a heavier squat clean. It's just this ladder dumbbells are moderate. You can just stay there and go. Keep it a little more efficient. Less time under tension because you're same spot with your feet the entire time. I recommend that for these. Kelsey's still cranking through. Push-ups getting hard. Good job, Kelsey. Stevie. There you go, buddy. Good. Think about your setup right here. Pull that down and back. Boom. Nice. Stevie, each time gets his eyes up. That allows him to get in a better position so he's not staying here like this. And then reverse deadlifting coming under. Takes that split second to get there before he sets up each pull. Try to do that. It doesn't have to be a true Olympic squat clean full setup, but something close to that so that you can uh, stay efficient through the whole workout. There we go, Stevie. The worst is over. Come on. I know you love these ring dips. Nine more squat cleans after this. Good job, Bridge. Good job, Kelsey. Second set of nine or third? Only second. So one more. I'm not used to the three sets of nine either. If you've been going across it a long time, you're probably really mentally conditioned to be done after one set of nine. Boy, Stevie flew through those 15s. Might be able to catch him if you go. There you go, buddy. There you go. Find those feet in that catch. So midfoot to heel. Nice. Good power there. Stay in that barbell. Stay in that barbell. You're doing good. There it is. Stevie's going to that two finger grip there so he can try and get his elbows as high as he can on the way up, which is fine. A lot of his front squat there. You don't need to go full hand on the barbell the whole way. You can go two fingers. Transition. I do that a lot of times too. Nice. Especially if you're limited to that front rack. That's fine to go to. There you go, Kelsey. Nice, consistent. Keep cranking through. My boy, Rich. Last one, last one. Straight through push-ups, straight through push-ups. Rich is gonna hold that same steady. Face through there, Stevie's coming through. Last set of nine, Stevie, come on, come on. If you're gonna go for broke, this is where to do it. The last set of nine, those biggest sets you can. Lock out there, buddy, there you go. All the way up, all the way up. Woo! Good boy. Good work, good work. Good job, Kelsey, good job. That look good, guys. Kelsey, what'd you think? Anything, any tips or something we've done different? Um, I started out with a big set on the 40. If you don't feel comfortable doing explosive air squats, then I would start a little bit smaller in the beginning. Um, the hand these push-ups, just keep moving. Um, if you have to take a break, don't lay there long because you'll want to stay there. That is all. That was really hard with dumbbells. Um, it's a lot of time under tension because you need to cycle them. <clears throat> Maybe break that first set if you need to. Um, like she said, it's so easy to rest on the push-ups. So if you want to rest, take it there, but don't take too long because you will stay there. Yeah. <laughs> There's not really a reason to put it down much. No, in the push-ups, are surprisingly breathy, so 
You're just out of breath the whole time. Get, get ready for it. Makes sense. Stevie, what do we think about Elizabeth? Is this your first time doing it, you say? No, I've done it before, but it's been about five years. You were a lot faster than you thought. You were hoping under 10, you were well under like seven, I think. Yeah. I think just really smooth singles. Don't get ahead of yourself. And if you're a mature athlete like myself, watch the lower back physique on those. Yep. And then the ring dips, I was doing set for five, even though I could have done more. I was just trying to manage the fatigue where you don't hit a wall and have to stop. For sure. I thought you paced it super well. Your first set of 21 squat clean looked really similar to the nines. And he's right, your low back will fry out on Elizabeth, surprisingly. Obviously, legs get tired, but get those hips open up before, hips turned on, and then just don't get sloppy in your reps. Uh, cool down, let's hit, some, let's hit a chest stretch first to start here. You got a wall, some object will go here, turn away, open up those chests from push-ups and or ring dips. And I'm gonna grab a box so we can hit some pigeon after that. Think y'all can share? Yeah, that's two. Two? I'll grab you this one. Ow. The mental. Fitness. I'm not in it ready right now. Honestly, my biceps. The last five or six squat things with the dumbbell too were like, I kept staying there light. I'm like, I don't feel light. Water heavy. Switch arms if you have it. Yeah. Nine, nine. More light. I've never done. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah. Nine, nine is going to be a different beast. Yeah. Usually it's nine, maybe six, three. Yeah. A nine, nine, nine. Yeah. Niner. You're not right. Nine was just enough though on these, but like at seven, eight, nine, I'm starting to get six. If I would have had to get that 15, I'd get up on nine, but pick it off and put it on nine. Yeah. Made you keep moving. Last cool down piece stretch. Kelsey demo for us. I think Steven Rich can one. We'll go. Pigeon on you know, this box here. If you can get your knee down like Kelsey is, that's great. If it's got to hang off on top of the box, um, that's okay too if there's a little space. You can lean that chest forward. You can also scour a little bit, move side to side to see where in that hip pocket you can find some tightness to stretch that out. We'll hold this about a minute. You can go up to a couple minutes. Get some good cool down. After this too, obviously I'd recommend hitting machine or a light walk with some air squats. Just get that blood flow, bring that heart rate down, let those joints relax too. Good way to cool down each workout. I almost always hop on a salt bike or something like that, just pedal five minutes or so, uh, bring everything back down to normal. Don't just immediately hop in the car and get out. Uh, your knees and shoulders and low back will thank you tomorrow and later in life. Switch. Every, usually one side's tired than the other. Find that too. Uh, oh, Nelly. So your bad knee? Probably go and do more help. Can't wait. Can't wait. All right, and relax. Thank you guys for the workout, good job. Thank you Mayhem family for tuning in. Check out for more of these. Uh, we'll have them coming out week to week and other offerings as well. Get your scores in there in Trigawad, Mayhem 30 or 60 track as well as some others. If we can do anything to make your experience better, let us know. Uh, we hope you all have a great day and we'll see you soon. Yeah. Woo! Good work, good work, two down. Thank you.